here's some old video I found on YouTube of our team back in 2011. I'm going to play this for Nikita because I'm hoping that she's going to grow up to be a fly ball dog. We'll see. That happens to be me right there with my dog. We used to do a lot of fly ball back in the day. So I'm hoping to get back into it. It's so much fun. The people are great. The dogs have such a good time. And here comes my dog. So basically it's a relay race over hurdles to a box that has a ball in it and they have to get the ball out and bring it back. So anyway, I'm gonna get Nikita in here and play this for her. As soon as she noticed it, I turned it down. Because I don't want her to get scared of it. As soon as she noticed it, I turned it back down. You can do this with thunder. You can do it with fireworks. But my goal for her is fly ball, and it's a really scary, loud, noisy, chaotic environment. So I'm gonna start this now and get her used to it. So we've established that she's not afraid of the sound. She's not afraid of the fly ball sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw her little ball into this hallway while the tape is playing, while the video is playing, uh, the, the noise of the tournament. I want her to associate fetching the ball with the noise. Ready, get it. Good girl, yes. And I set up a little wall so she can't get around me. Get it. Good girl. This is getting this puppy habituated and also associating that noise with playing ball. Ready, get it. This is excellent. Good job, Nikita. And that's enough. She's only 10 weeks old, so that's where we're gonna quit, right there.